Hello, wizards. It's Dev, SVMC, Jiv, the place with the magic stuff. Magic. All that. You know by now. And today, I'm going to get some games in with this cat combo deck from the other day. Now, this is the budget, like $25 version of the deck. And if you haven't seen the sort of long-form deck guide for it, I'll leave that in the description. Already done that. If you have watched it, then, like, thanks. You're awesome for doing that. But just in case you wanted to see the deck in action, we're going to try and get a few games with it today, and another version of this deck, too. I'm going to put two videos out today, if I can help it, but this is going to be the budget version of the deck. We're going to try to run through some games here and see how well it does. All right, we got our first one here against Mike444. That's a, that's a cool name. <laughs> we'll see what happens here. We did get a couple of um, Cauldron Familiars to start the game off, so I guess I'll go ahead and do that, plus Drill Bit on turn two. Nearly guaranteed, because we can just call it a familiar drill bit and then attack, so that'll be a nice little way to open things up, but if we don't get too much more than that, we might end up being in trouble, because, you know, two one ones can't do it all. Two drill bits might be able to, though. That's pretty hot, so let's call them familiar. They're going to opt in response. I could have attacked and then drill bitted, but like they still would have opted in response. So it's not really a huge loss there. So let's go ahead and drill bit and see what they're working with. What you got, Mike? Okay, jeez. All right. So it's some sort of mill deck. Um, I could take Narset. Note that I will be able to drill bit again, like next turn, almost guaranteed. We'll see. Like Secret Keeper and then Callus Dismissal or something. I think I'll take the Ashiok, although I kind of really want the Drown Secrets, but I'm always most worried about Ashiok. I really don't want, you know, cats to get exiled or anything, so we'll go, we'll go with that. And say go to Mikey 4 for 4. Alright, two lands, so uh, what do you do on two lands here? You just Secret Keeper and then play it or you Drown Secrets? You Drown Secrets, okay. So, we got our third land, Castle Lockwain here. And I guess we'll just get through with the kitty cats. And drill bit. A second time. Alright, and this time... It's like he gets Narset no matter what. And Narset could really cramp our Midnight Reaper style, but we don't have a Reaper right now. I almost want to like cross that bridge when I get to it. I kind of want the Callus Dismissal, but I think I'll take the Secret Keeper, ultimately. So that's a lot of value they're going to end up getting off of Narsets, but... I shouldn't have them for too long, the way things are looking right now. I'm going to Key... And then show my entire hand. Well, no. Let's save it. Let's save it. <laughs> Give us a nice for the Manifold Key. <laughs> Or maybe it was for the double drill bit, I'm not sure, but they're going to Drown Secrets. Double Drown Secrets and that I'll give them a nice for because that's really sweet. <laughs> oh, they got a Witch's Oven! Oh. Alright, so what we're going to do this turn is uh, go ahead and Foul Marnite, main phase, draw this card. We got Nayara, and then we can just Foul Marnite. But... Bop, bop. I get as much value off this Falmar Knight as possible, so I think I'm going to hold it. Play the Iara and then the Falmar Knight. Get an extra drain, but these aren't looking super great for us. Like, we've got him at 13. It's an okay position. The one summon the, cat, the Cauldron Familiar. Drown Secrets. Twice, of course. Two Spark Harvests. Midnight Reaper, so it's all stuff we don't really care about that much in this match. I wouldn't mind the Spark Harvest for um, Narsa, especially if we do get like a fifth um, land here. But I will say the mill production is working pretty well for them. Ah, they got another oven. Ah, I hate that. Alright, so we got another Castle Lockthoy. This is the only difference between the deck that I showed you and the deck that we ended up on. <laughs> So, is that there's a second Loftwing in it, but I happen to have a second one, so why not play it? But let's go ahead and Iara here. Cauldron Familiar. Cauldron Familiar. So it ended up being a pretty decent turn. Leaves them at 8. They'll finally play the Narset. They are stuck on 3 lands here. 
Double Drown Seeker triggers again. So we are on 30, is it 34 cards? Okay. Still got half our deck left. <laughs> they're going to narc it, but they're tapped out. Oh, they got another Drown Secrets. <laughs> See if they win the race here. All right, we got a Swamp, because of course we got a Swamp. Um, let's, do we do that? Bop, bop. Play the Swamp. We have six mana. One, two, three, four. I need four for that. Is it worth it? I think it probably is. All right, so Manifold Key, the Ayara. Then, everybody clap your hands. It's like, I really should. Am I that worried about that Narset, you know? Like, seven, six, five, I'll put him at five. Four, this turn. Uh, they've got another Narset anyway, right? It's like, it's all about, do I want to let them draw another card? I think I do. I think it's fine. We'll see. <laughs> so you have to spend two mana on Drown Secrets next turn, and they're like, they're going to do it, so. All right, so. This turn, we Gutter Bones. Get them sweet drains. All right, there are four here. I got a dismissal, so they can drown secrets dismissal. It's a lot of secrets getting drowned. Okay, so I'm pretty sure they just gave the game to us. We have six mana. That's two gutter bones. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. So threes, we have six. We have to spend three mana on Ayara. Then we can foul my knight. I think we got it. It looks like all these cards are in her hand. That's one of the reasons I love this deck. Ooh, we got another Ayara. We totally didn't need that. Let's play the one they know we have. Alright, so they're at three. So, <laughs> at this point, I can just gutter bones. Play it. And beat in. On them. That should do it. I didn't expect to face Mono Blue Mill. But. So there are one here. Which means nearly any player in our deck kills them. But we gotta watch out. We got 22 cards left in our library. So one food token would be amazing right now. Alright, Narset. They only have two mana left, so. Like, I'm pretty sure we got this one sewn up. So that'll be six cards. Yeah, they play another spell. That's six cards. We go to ten. If it's a secret keeper. Ooh, if it's a secret keeper. We got an unsummon. The Ayara. Get all them drowned secrets triggers, kid. You came so close. Is it? Ah, oh. okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> all right. I was, I was about to hit attack to see if they had anything there, but apparently not. I think. I think we're good. <laughs> Apparently we are. I don't know, I was worried that they would like, I would go into, into attack and they would unsummon again or something. That would have, uh, I'm pretty sure like been our game more or less, so that would have been trouble. Now we won the first one. Let's try to get in another one here. Like that one was probably nowhere near as tense as I was making it, you know. On the other side of the table, they were probably like, ah, oh, come on! <laughs> you know? But I like to try to play things as though they have all the cards that they need. 
<laughs> at all times. So it leads to some fairly dense games. But all right, so they go first, but we still have a pretty we got a pretty good start here. <laughs> Ira and Cauldron familiar. I think I'll take it. We can gutter bones turn one. They played a mountain, but didn't actually play anything turn one, which is a relative rarity <laughs> these days. I've seen a lot of mono red aggro lately. I've also seen a lot of articles being written about how you're supposed to play mono red aggro to go under Golos, and that's probably why I'm seeing a lot of mono red aggro, right? <laughs> Yet, yeah, I don't believe there's any mono red aggro registered for Mythic Championship 5, so. Reconcile that <laughs> however you want to. Let's get in for two with the bones. I'll play a foul Meyer Knight and a cauldron familiar. Alright, let's see what happens. I actually get a little nervous when I see Thunderkin Awakener, but this appears to be just mono red. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's probably a, a calamity deck. Really surprised they didn't have a one drop. That means they like just drew this 10 Street Dodger. All right, live to the stage. They got a land and a thrill of possibility. Okay, hmm. What you doing over there? I wonder if it's like an Iron Crag Pyromancer deck of some kind. All right, so at this point, I could play Ayara, but I want to go ahead and get this oven down before they have any removal for the cat. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's like, I've made this decision a bunch of times, and I'm still not sure which one is right. I think we just go Ayara first here, but, yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. That's a more important play. So I want to use all my mana this turn. I don't want to just Witch's Oven and do, like, nothing else except maybe Foulmire Knight. I don't think that's right, so. They're just going to scoot. job, Matthew. I was <laughs> still, still making decisions there, but I guess it was just too much. Froll Matty. Alright, that game barely counts. Let's try to get another one, but I guess we've won two in a row in case, in case you're worried about the power level of a $25 deck. Alright. She ready for Yux. Yuxby. Yuxby. That's it, probably. I hope. Alright, so this is an interesting opener, and we actually go first. The, the Arena Gods have blessed us with going first, because I fussed. I guess the squeaky wheel gets the breeze, but. We'll see what Yuxby's doing here as we open up with Foulmire Knight. Haven't seen me cast the Adventure Half even once. <laughs> but but I do all the time. Alright, Gilded Goose is a heck of a way to start a magic game. Let's go ahead and get in. I'm sure they'll let us in. And then bit him. What up, bit? All right, so woof. You're playing Reaper of Night. That's very interesting. Huh. Take the innkeeper. I can spark harvest or hold off with Death Touch. That love struck beast. I'm not that worried about it. It's the innkeeper generating value that I worry about. I also kind of want to punish him for not having played it this turn. Or last turn. All right, this turn I guess he can love struck beast, but it's not going to matter that much. Murderous right of the Foulmire Knight. I mean, that's... I mean, you, you lost the Foulmire Knight lost two life and lost the food token so you can't Gilded Goose anymore just to get rid of a Foulmire Knight. So, like, to me it feels like we won that exchange. You know? So, let's go ahead and Ayara. Which they probably wish they <laughs> saved the Murderous Rider for. I guess I just wanted to, like, do something that turn. I could have Sword Mastered. Maybe they want to just save Smitten Swordmaster. Make sure they get the most value off of it. Alright, they're going to go ahead and play Murderous Rider and likely say go. Yep. We get our fourth land. The deck is not usually that giving when it comes to lands. Hopefully it will stop <laughs> being so giving now. Alright, let's get the combo set up, boys. Alright. 
knock you down to 12. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> I think you actually uh, might. I'll take another land here so I can spark harvest cleanly. <sighs> Lucky Clover is not what I want to see. That's fine. Love Struck Beast, get a couple of 1 1s. Swordmaster. That's that's fine. Coming in with Ryder. Flynn Ryder, let's make sure that they don't actually um gain any life off of murderous rider. With our little trick here. This one weird trick. Pass. And come on back, kitty cat. That is pretty much exactly what I wanted to draw. Yark's Fen Lurker. Get rid of that. Thank you. get into and they'll let us all the way in thank you opponent that's very nice I don't want to even block with one of these one ones <laughs> hey draw innkeeper get ready to draw some cards kids Smith and Swordmaster comes into play they'll draw the card I do not like Edge Wall and Keeper. <laughs> it is just a disgusting magic card. Alright, they're coming in. They're, they're coming in for some reason. Alright, so pass her up. Block her there. Sack the kitty. Take two. And uh, we'll play this cat again. Hey, we got a land. That's sweet. <laughs> I guess I'll take it. And at this point, if I get in, they have to block with Swordmaster and Edgewall Innkeeper against Ayara. But if she does die, then that would suck. <laughs> <laughs> That's how, how I justify things here. Like, I think we can probably win by slow rolling, so... Let's no attacks. Save this Spark Harvest for a second. Ouch. That one's actually going to help them a good bit, yep. This one's gonna get sloggy. And there's the love struck beast. Okay. Resolve. So they have gotten all of the value in the world. And here they come. Alright. Alright, that's how we'll do our blocks, and then the Witches Oven the Cat. I'm thinking about sacrificing Finler to Ayara and not killing the Swordmaster so they don't gain any life. Then we'll have Swordmaster next turn, so. Should probably just boop. Well, that doesn't really do much. Eh. 
That means we miss our lock play in this turn. I'm gonna pass it up. I thought we had um, enough mana to do it twice, but that's how you screw up. All right, so submit one. Cauldron familiar. Would have rather had another oven. And say go. I feel like that misplay is going to hurt. Not being able to draw off of uh, Lockplane there. Alright, let's see what they do. They're going to try to get in with a bunch here, I think. Yeah. 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 Okay. So. Let's block here. And let's block here. And then let's block here. I'll sacrifice the one blocking murderous rider. They've got something. Okay. It's like their hand keeps lighting up. <laughs> like they're going to do something. Oh, and then... Yeah, just like that. You gonna disfigure the IR or something? Oh, being stalk giant. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'll have enough to play Beanstalk Giant <laughs> next turn, which I'm not too happy about. But they don't have. Like any more lifelink tricks, so we might be able to just weather the storm here. Ah, murderous rider. Yeah. That hoits. All right, so resolve them. Just gave him targets for that second murderous rider. They did put him at five, I guess, but they created a food. We drew a land. Because that's what we do around here. All right. We're at 20, 5, 6, 7, 8. But they do have the lifelink on Rider. 5. 4, 5, 6. So this will take all of our mana. And if we use Spark Harvest on Lovestruck this turn, they're just going to play the Beanstalk Giant next turn. I want to Lothwain. Hilarious! Got a manifold key. Mm. I don't like it. Okay, so they murder us, Ryder. Not Beanstalk Giant. I guess they want to gain the life. Oh, did you have one, two, three, four, five? Huh. I guess he had exactly enough. Resolve it. You got a big honking dude right there. I don't think we're going to win this one, just because I don't think we can get out from under all the murderous riders. I don't know what it expects me to do. <laughs> I know I've got artifacts I could do stuff with, but like, not really, you know? All right. Our turn. Drill bit. Way to... Just not draw anything impactful. Well, that's good game, them. And concede. Alright, so... 
I think we're looking pretty good. I'm actually not going to play this Cauldron Familiar yet. I want to completely guarantee Drill Bit on turn two. One of the best ways of doing that is Cauldron Familiar. See, our Royal Grazer, like we would have not been able to attack through that, so we would not have gotten Drill Bit. So I think we did the right thing. Got another Cauldron Familiar. Can I get an oven, please? All right. Spam to bit. Whew. Hey! You got some stuff. All right. Oh, cheesy crust. Ugh. That's so hard. That's so hard. I took the Clarion, but I think I should have taken the Realm Club Giant. Or like, maybe you take the Fire's Hope that you get a Yarrick Spindler or another Drill Bit. That's probably a good call, but... Uh, that's That was hard. It's like, if they get a Red Source and throw down Fire's, we are done. This is one of the decks that uh, this deck hates. This deck absolutely cannot stand Fire's decks. Fire's decks are it's like slightly unfair. All right, they didn't get a land. They especially didn't get a red source, which is what we do not want them to pick up right about now. But we didn't get a land either, so I mean, that's magic for you, isn't it? No one gets any of the lands they need. I thought the best of one algorithm was supposed to smooth draws. <laughs> I think what it actually does is it just puts um, 20 lands in the middle of your deck. <laughs> it's what's actually happening here. <laughs> Still didn't get the land we need. Still didn't get it. Let's, uh, let's swing on through here. Because they still haven't gotten the land they need either, so it's not like it matters. Yeah, I didn't play Falmar Knight. I fully expect to be Realm Cloak Giant in this turn. So now if we do get Gianted, then we can Falmar Knight Gutter Bombs. Alright, they're going to secure this route. <laughs> so they're finally going to get the lands they need. I'd like to play a land and get this Midnight Reaper before we get swept. That would be the best. Uh, which <laughs> be careful what you wish for, I guess. <laughs> Wishes Cottage. Tapped. All right. Lord. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Fires into... Whatever the spell on Realm Club Giant is called. I don't think that I've seen one person actually say the name of any of the adventure cards. Like, all season. They just say the name of the creature they're attached to. Because who bothers actually learning the name of the card? <laughs> right? All right, here comes Realm Club, right? You can do it. Maybe he's got something even nastier. Nah, it's Realm Club Giant. It's always an off-putting animation. <laughs> All right. Well, the good news is now we can do whatever we want. That's, that's something, man. I really hate that this was a witch's cottage. I really hate that we didn't just draw three cards. That mm, It's like it waited. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll just uh, get set up with Ayara this turn. And then tell the fire's deck to go. Which is never a fun thing to do. <laughs> they can just cast this Realm Club Giant. They can just do that if they want to. They do. Of course they do. Who wouldn't love to do that? You're just what, vigilant? Yeah. Always forget the <laughs> I always forget the ability printed on this card. 
It's not trample, right? White creatures don't trample. Sunder Shaman, why? Huh. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. Seen a lot of different picks in this deck, but that... That's new. Alright, so let's gutter bones. Let's Falmire Knight. They'll love that. Yeah, let's drill a bit. Hilarious. <laughs> oh, our life. Our life is over. Alright. No attacks into that pile of ridiculous creatures. Jeez, I can't believe that. <laughs> oh, double Golos and our own Cloak Giant. Fires is just the craziest deck. <laughs> it really is. Why are you, what? <laughs> Why are you playing that card? I guess specifically for situations like this. Wow. We are about to lose to what appears to be a four color fires deck with really low card quality, but that's cool. <laughs> that's, I mean, that just goes to show you like how powerful these Golos fires decks are. This is the deck that I have picked to win Mythic Championship, just so you know. I don't know if it's going to, but there's like three or four different players that have registered Golos fires, and I'm pretty sure this is the deck that's going to take it home, but we'll see. If you listen to a bunch of different pro players right now, they will tell you that like fires of invention is terrible. It's not working. If you want to lose, just register a Fires of Invention deck. Ha 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 ha. No. Fires is like a ridiculously powerful card, and I have no idea what the disconnect is between like my mindset and the pro mindset is. Because I don't know. It just it's Fires of Invention is crazy. <laughs> it's an absolutely like it's free the turn you play it, basically, because you just get to play another four drop anyway. Like it's God, the card is ludicrous. <laughs> like I don't, I don't see, I don't see why, like, oh, but Fires is terrible. Huh, like, Grixis Fires is good, Jeskai Fires is good. They, they are fine magic decks, but let's throw down a Midnight Reaper. No, I want a Spark Harvest. Sack the gutter bones. Well, no. God, why did it take so long to cast the spark cards? Hey, we got a witch's oven. Okay. That's decent news. Alright, so you're telling me there's a chance. There's not, but you're telling me there is a chance. <laughs> Pass. Come on, don't do anything. <laughs> that would be really cool if you didn't do anything. Okay. I don't love it, but that's fine. No blocks. You can just activate Golos, yeah, and they did. <laughs> you have, you have like more, multiple copies of this car. Oh, they're going to clear you, and that's our game. Come on! We were so close to putting it together. Midnight Reaper, Ayara, Cauldron Familiars. Foulmire Knight, Witches Oven, Manifold Key, come on! A turn away, again, again, a turn away, come on! Uh, well, that's the game, kids. Stefan Clarion is a very real magic card. Hello, Kenrith. Woof. Five mana with which to lose. So, how are we going to choose to lose the game? Let's. Witch's Oven. Yarrick's Fin Lurker. I 
manifold key. Sacrifice the fin lurker. No, don't do it. Don't do it yet. 17. We can last a turn. <laughs> we, can, we can do it. I promise. Well, actually, I don't promise that. I make, I make no promises whatsoever. Yeah. Oh, oh, Golos. For, for Frizzy. For Frisbee. Actually, we won't be able to survive a turn. Because they'll just swath cutter, and then we'll uh, sacrifice the fin lurker, get the food, get the cat back, and then it'll deal the damage. Well, no. Yeah, it won't deal the damage to the food, or to the cat. I think we can pull this off. I think we might be able to do it. But they're just going to be able to cast, like, free cards. So, that's, I mean, that's what Fires of Invention does, is cast free cards. But they can still, like, activate Golos, get the best of those free cards, and play it. Trample and haste. So that's game, basically. And we'll tell them so. But not before we do things. <laughs> Sacrifice this creature. So, 5, 10, 15, 18. So if we just... Well, I guess we can't sack the food. That's Cauldron Familiar... <laughs> Sack this food. Oh my god, can we live? Can we live? Cool, and then manifold key. Untap the oven. I don't know why they're not just like letting things resolve. They're taking a second in between resolutions. Just because they can. <laughs> Sack the food. Alright. I'll put us at 19. Kenrith um, tap for any of his abilities. Isn't that a bit much, don't you think? Don't you think? Like you can just put a counter on a creature and I die. You gonna, you gonna do that? <laughs> yes, okay, so... Well, hey, let me good game you at least, jeez. <laughs> exactly zero. They were at five though. <laughs> it's not bad. But all in all, that was not the best day. So, but you know, twenty-five dollar deck. What are you gonna do? You know. <laughs> but we actually went like we held our own and went toe to toe against a lot of the better decks in this format. A bunch of Golos. Like we got Golos fires down to five. Like we could have won that game if we were just one turn faster. We got a fighting chance in all of these. And again, this is the budget version. There's a million ways to dress this up. You know, Murder's Rider, Knight of the Ebon Legion, Priest of the Forgotten Gods. There's a bunch of stuff you could do with this. So, again, it just needs to be a hair better. And there are a million ways to make it a hair better. But even just the stock version of the list is pretty tight. And I think that if you're trying to make this deck as budget as possible, this is pretty much the lowest base you're going to get to. So, I hope you enjoyed these games as much as I did, because I obviously did. And uh, I'm going to try to get the Red Black Cat version of this deck out um, same day. So hopefully I'll see you in just a minute and I'll try to get these uploaded around the same time. But in any case, if you did enjoy the content, um, then make sure you like the video. That would, that would mean a lot to me. But also sub to the channel if you haven't done that yet. Check out the Patreon, dollar a month, let you pick what decks and content we do and all that. I'll let you know what we're doing in advance. And uh, if you're interested in this deck still, then you can check out the uh, TCG player link. First one in the description down there. You can pick up any pieces that you need for just around $25 for the whole deck. And at the FNM level, this deck can crush. So, <laughs> And even, like I said, in Arena, I've gotten through a lot of the gold tier with this deck. So, I mean, it's, it's really no slouch. And if you get the right draws and you play correctly, there were... There's a misplay or two this video. 
I'm sure you'll tell me which ones, other than the ones I've already pointed out. But, you know, you play it right, you pilot it correctly, then you'll be able to do a lot with it. And I've been playing this deck for a while, and I'm still not, like, the best pilot. There's a lot to this deck. So, you want an intricate, cheap, fun, like, combo aggro deck that's kind of got something for everybody, then, like, give this thing a shot. Cat combo's fun. But, anyway, I think i got to go ahead and start playing with the other deck now. So, I'll catch you cats later. I'm done from the place. Thanks for watching, Wizards. Spread love. Be kind.